Welcome back and welcome to Eagle News. Hello, I'm Jules. And I'm Sanvi. We're so glad you could join us today. In today's episode, we'll report about Eversol Run Middle School News, National News, Ohio News, Teacher Focus, Science News, Riddles, Technology News, and much, much more. In Eversol Run Middle School News, important dates, March 7th to 9th, ERMS Drama Club, Annie Jr. at Jerome at 7 p.m., March 18th to 22nd, no school spring break. April 8th, no school teacher conference comp day. In more Eversol news, come and see Annie Jr. The actors have been rehearsing and preparing to perform Annie Jr. They'll perform at Jerome today, March 7th at 7 p.m., the 8th at 7 p.m., and 9th at 3 p.m. Want to buy a ticket and don't know how? All you need to do is go to Dublin City Schools homepage, then click on the button that says Our School and find Eversol Run. Once you get there, go to the athletic homepage and click event tickets. There you'll buy, be able to choose what day you want to go and buy a ticket. In National Day calendar news, today is National Blueberry Pancake Day, Data Privacy Day, and National Have Fun at Work Day. Fun facts of the day. The longest fingernails ever were over 28 feet in total. American Lee Redmond started growing them in 1979 and set the record in 2008. Sadly, she lost her nails in a car crash in 2009. In language arts news in the world of writing, exposition refers to the art of providing essential background information about the main characters in the world of our, your story. Literary exposition can help provide emotional stakes throughout the beginning of the story, the rising action and the falling action, in the eventual end. Exposition is designed to convey information that provides insight into a character as, or advances the story. As far as literary terms go, exposition may be one of the simplest to understand, yet nailing the exposition of a story is often one of the trickiest type tropes to walk for a writer. That's why it's important to provide enough exposition to give your readers necessary context without tiring them with tedious details. Hi, this is your weekend's weather. On Friday, there's a high of 60 and a low of 51 with a 70% chance of rain. On Saturday, there's a 56, there's a high of 56, a low of 34, and a 90% chance of rain. And on Sunday, there's a high of 43, a low of 30, and a 20% chance of rain. That was your weekend's weather. How In science it? news, continental drift was a revolutionary theory explaining that continents shift position on Earth's surface. The theory was proposed by geophysicist and meteorologist Af Alfred Wagner in 1912, but was rejected by mainstream science at the time. Scientists confirmed some of, some of Wagner's ideas decades later, which are now part of the widely accepted theory of plate tectonics. Wagner's continental drift theory introduced the idea of moving continents to geoscience. He proposed that Earth must have been a single supercontinent before breaking up to form several different continents. In math news, what is a cylinder? A cylinder is a 3D solid shape that consists of two identical and parallel bases linked by a curved surface. These bases are like curricular circular disks. The line passing from the center or joining the centers of two circular bases is called the axis of the cylinder shape. The two circular bases have a distance from the center to the outer boundary, which is known as the radius of the cylinder, represented by R. The cylinder is a combination of two circles and one rectangle. In social studies news, latitude and longitude are a system of lines to use to describe the location of any place on Earth. Lines of latitude run in an east-west direction across Earth. Lines of longitude run in a north-south direction. Although these are only imaginary lines, they appear on maps and globes as if they are actually existed. The equator is an imaginary line that lies halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. This north-south line that this is the north-south line that marks the zero-degree longitude that passes through Gre Greenwich, England. This is called the Greenwich, or Prime Meridian. Greenwich was chosen for the Prime Meridian because when the system of long latitude and longitude was established, Great Britain was the world leader in exploration and map making. Greenwich was the home of Britain's Royal Observatory. Latin and latitude and longitude lo together can describe the exact location of any place on Earth. In health news, what is a heart disease? The term of heart disease refers to several types of heart conditions. The most common type of heart disease in the United States is coronary artery disease, which affects the blood flow to the heart. Decreased blood flow can cause a heart attack. Sometimes heart disease may be silent and not diagnosed until a person experiences signs or symptoms of a heart attack, heart failure, or arrhythmia. 
high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, or smoking are key risk factors for heart disease. About half of people in the United States, 47%, have at least one of these three risk factors. Eating a healthy diet and exercising is a key to living a long and healthy life. Inspirational quote of the day. If you fell down yesterday, stand up today by H.G. Wells. I think this means that you should always keep trying to achieve your goal. Anything worth having takes work and practice. Next up is Eagle Recognition Awards. If you hear your name, please go down to the office and come see Mrs. Here's Moses. To this claim week's Eagle Recognitions. First is Julia Ulsher for being service minded and having respect from Mrs. Pfeiffer. Next is Elise Nelson for being service minded by Mrs. Cook. Next is Claire Chung for having respect by Mr. Manning. Next is Adeline Van Norman for being respectful by Mr. Simmons. Next is Maggie Flock for having ownership by Mrs. Shemi and Mrs. Johnson. Next is Roosh Kondreddy for being ownership by Mr. Armstrong. Next is Emily Vohan for being service-minded, accepting, having ownership, and having respect by Mrs. Angler. Next is Seven, Stefan S Sang Sanakian for being service-minded by Ms. Burkhoff. Next is Pablo Chung for being service-minded and having respect by Mrs. Stishok. Next is Nolan McLean for being service-minded by Mrs. Which one? Are we supposed to say? No,